We're going to be using Paint 3D to create our masked self-portraits for our fifth grade virtual mural. So this uh, project is inspired by some artwork by Katie Vernon. Um, so our plan is to put all of our self-portraits together like this to create a mural of all of our fifth graders this year that we can use for graduation. Okay. So, the first thing you're going to need to do in Paint 3D is um, change your canvas. This, is, this part's going to be really important for this because they have to all be able to fit together. So, um, you're going to click on the canvas here. Now, I have a rectangular canvas and I want it to be square. Um, you see where the width and height are over here. These numbers need to be the same or really close to the same. So. Um, we can just let me grab the corner and <clears throat> so you can just stretch it out like this if you want and just try to get it to a square. Okay, so I'm going to bring it doesn't have to be exactly the same, but it I will need to be able to fit them together. So, okay, that's pretty close. All right. So now I'm going to go to the 2D shapes page and I'm going to uh, make the shape for the head. So we're going to use a circle. Now you could actually draw your whole thing out um, using the marker tool. That would be fine too, but I'm going to show you how to use um, the, some of the 2D shapes. So I'm going to put a circle in here and we're going to make it more like a head shape. You want your head to fill up most of um, the canvas here. So make it pretty big. Um, so that looks pretty good. And um, I'm going to do just a solid brown line. Um, a black one would be okay too. Maybe a little thinner than this though. So there's your, your outline for your head. Okay, if it's the way you want it, you can click a check. And then next thing we're going to do is um, go to the brushes page and we're going to use the same color to draw the neck. Two little vertical lines there, and then like the neckline for your shirt. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and draw the outline um, for my shirt too. So. Your shoulders are gonna come out a little wider than your head. All right, so now I'm gonna fill in my shapes here. So I'm gonna fill in my shirt because I already have that color selected. And then I wanna find a good skin tone. So I'm gonna click on the brown, but then I'm gonna get a more specific color for my skin tone here. So you wanna um, slide around between that, probably between the yellows and the oranges and find a good range here. And then you can kind of play with this and go darker, lighter, um, to find the skin tone that kind of matches yours. All right, and then make sure we have the fill tool and then we'll fill in the head and neck. Okay, so we'll do the hair next and I'm gonna um, pick a color that's kind of similar to what I wanna start with. Um, and then you can click on that and kind of go from there. So. looking for a kind of a light brown color for my hair. All right. So this time I'm gonna use the marker and I'm gonna make my lines a little thicker and I'm gonna draw just the outline of my hair. Okay, now you can either color all this in or you can use the fill tool. Sometimes the fill tool doesn't work when you've got all those little outlines and things very well. So, okay, fill tool I'm gonna use to color in these spaces here. All right, and then um, you could go ahead now um, 
and do some details like draw some maybe some thinner lines to add um, some details for your hair like in the examples we saw there's um, she uses a lot of patterns um, to add details to the to the portraits so do lines um, you could of course um, do depending on what your hairstyle is. You could use like little wavy lines, maybe little spirals, or um, any kind of lines or shapes that might add some patterns that um, kind of look like your hair. Of course, this is like a stylized self-portrait. It's not going to look exactly like you. It's a little bit cartoony. Okay, so let's go ahead now and do the face, and we're going to start with the eyes. We're going to use the circle again and we're gonna make an eye shape, so an oval kind of shape for the eye. This time I want no outline, and I want a solid white eye. So I'm gonna click on fill, solid, white, and line type, none. So that's gonna give me a white oval. All right, I'm gonna, well, I wanted to keep that and stamp it. Let me go back and try again. Okay. So, it works best if you can do both of them exactly the same. And so, you, using the stamp tool works really well for that. Okay. So, get it where you want. Remember, not too high up. The eyes are actually halfway between the top of the head and the chin. So, you don't want them too high up. Okay. You're going to use the stamp because you want two eyes, of course. Draw the one over here, make sure they're lined up, and click the check. Okay, so the colored part's the eye. <clears throat> we'll do next, and we want those to be circles. And um, let's see, fill them, get a color that matches or is close to your eye color, or you could just use black, that would be okay too. <clears throat> <clears throat> Again, this is um, kind of stylized. We're not even going to put the pupils in there. We're just going to have our color, colored shapes for our eyes. Okay, I lost it again. I wanted to stamp it, but I'm going to go ahead and do it this way. Try to get them the same size, though. Okay. All right, now we can... Um, work on our mask. Uh, you could maybe use the square and turn it into a rectangle shape, but I think um, drawing it works better. So choose a color and your marker tool to draw the shape. Now you could do it, I'm gonna do maybe a kind of a bandana style this time. So you could do just the square mask Actually, let me just let me just do a regular mask shape just so we don't get confused. All right, um, and then you can have your little straps coming up to your ears. Now, if you wanted to do more of a bandana shape, it would be more of a triangular shape, of course. And you may not see the bot those bottom straps; they usually kind of are hidden. But you could draw them if you want. Okay, so let's use our fill tool. All right, and then um, you could decorate your mask. Um, you could use little dots if you wanted to um, make thick lines, pick a color and put dots on there. You could do that. You could use thinner lines and draw like the, the lines that go across like this like the folds in the mask or maybe a stripe pattern. Um, or you could go to the 2D shapes and find a shape that you like and put that on there. So maybe, maybe this might be cool because it will match my shirt. So maybe I want to do little stars on my mask. Okay. Now, I always forget eyebrows when I'm doing 
portraits. We're gonna do our eyebrows and we're just gonna do a little line for the nose next. So I'm gonna zoom in so I can do this more easily. I'm gonna pick my brown and for my eyebrows, I'm gonna do these little lines, actually a little thinner than that. Little lines to show the, the hairs. And go to up and out. You could do just one big thick line for your eyebrow if you wanted to. Okay. And then just a little line for the side of the nose coming down like that. All right. And now you just need to pick a color for the background. So pick your color, fill tool, and fill in your background. And if you wanted to add um, a pattern to your background, you could do that as well. Um, again, you could go to the 2D shapes and choose a shape that, to put in the background. So you could add um, a pattern that way by using the um, stamp tool and repeating that pattern all over. Um, or you could use the marker and make the dots like I've shown you before, or you could even do something like um, where you're, you're spraying a light little design in there. So different ways you could decorate your background, but solid, a uh, solid background is also fine for that.